President Biden, where are you? Meanwhile, a group of protesters gathered outside the Adrian Arsh Center, addressing what they say is the current ethnic cleansing and genocide in Armenia. After observing what happened to the indigenous people of Artsakh, 120,000 of them, they were attacked, they were blockaded for nine months, uh, they were bombed, they had to leave the indigenous land that they've been there for millennia. Ramaswamy joining the protesters in downtown Miami. This is probably the most underappreciated atrocity in the world as we know it today that's underappreciated by other Western or American elites. Armenia ha has gone through a very tough history. Uh, as you know, it was a very big empire. So we're hoping for the GOP candidates to be able to bring this to President Biden's attention. And we would like to call on them to stop the killings and the genocide of the Armenian people. I'm here to raise awareness and to give Armenians a voice and so that people can recognize what's happening to us and that people can care about us too because if it's about humanity, then we've really failed. The genocide that our grandparents faced, that we're seeing again now, cannot be tolerated. That those who care um, need to speak up, need to stand up. One of the candidates does really talk about Armenia, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, talks a lot about Armenia and I think that's really good. My job in this campaign, which will hopefully be November 2024, we will make sure that the Armenian struggle is not something that is just forgotten as a footnote in American international affairs, but that we have to confront the truth of what's happening here.